This is a summary of James Allen's book. As a man thinketh. The chapter called Effect of Thought on Circumstances. He is the master gardener of his soul, the director of his life. Thought and character are one. The outer conditions of a person's life will always be found to be harmoniously related to his inner state. Man is buffeted by circumstances, so long as he believes himself to be the creature of outside conditions. The alteration in his circumstances has been in exact ratio with his altered mental condition. Every thought seed sown or allowed to fall into the mind, and to take root there, produces its own, blossoming sooner or later into act, and bearing its own fruitage of opportunity and circumstance. Good thoughts bear good fruit, bad thoughts bad fruit. The outer world of circumstances shapes itself to the inner world of thought. As the reaper of his own harvest, man learns both by suffering and bliss. Circumstances does not make the man, it reveals him to himself. Men do not attract that which they want, but that which they are. Their whims, fancies, and ambitions are thwarted at every step, but their inmost thoughts and desires are fed with their own food, be it foul or clean. Thought and action are the jailers of fate they imprison, being base, they are also the angels of freedom they liberate, being noble. His wished and prayers are only gratified and answered when they harmonize with his thoughts and actions. Men are anxious to improve their circumstances, but are unwilling to improve themselves, they therefore remain bound. That man is the causer, thought nearly always unconsciously, of his circumstances. Good thoughts and actions can never produce bad results, bad thoughts and actions can never produce good results. Suffering is always the effect of wrong thought in some direction. It is an indication that the individual is out of harmony with himself, with the law of his being. A man is not rightly conditioned until he is a happy, healthy, and prosperous being, and happiness, health, and prosperity are the result of a harmonious adjustment of the inner with the outer, of the man with his surroundings. He will find that as he alters his thoughts towards things and other people, things and other people will alter toward him. Let a man radically alter his thoughts, and he will be astonished at the rapid transformation it will effect in the material conditions of his life. Men imagine that thought can be kept secret, but it cannot, it rapidly crystallizes into habit solidifies into circumstance. A particular train of thought persisted in, be it good or bad, cannot fail to produce its results on the character and circumstance, but he can choose his thoughts, and so indirectly, yet surely, shape his circumstances. If you gained value from the information, please be sure to share this with others, provide your reactions in the comments and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you and want to keep you educated. A positive and fulfilling life is at your fingertips. It's possible for you and we want to help you on your journey.